Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include European Union and Russia reach a crossroads Has Britain's energy policy left us out in the cold? The Baroness is set to fly from the EU nest Deeper and closer economic and budgetary surveillance for EU member states Plus, UK border agency needs a backlog bailout on immigration I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. First from our homepage. Given the EU, ECB and IMF Troika just attempted to pick the pockets of Mr Putin's most wealthy and influential citizens via the Cypriot bank job, it comes perhaps as little surprise that the EU finds itself at a crossroads with Russia. Where I'm from, such action would have resulted in you kneeling on the floor trying to pick up your teeth from the gutter. However, in this article we take a look at the strategic partnership that Russia and the EU are compelled to pursue. Well, the timing couldn't be more pertinent, as the cold weather, nigh arctic weather conditions continue to grip our island nation, a realisation has come about. We are about to plunge the UK into an energy production deficit, leaving us unable to provide enough energy to fend off the cold in the future. This article considers the political obsession with CO2, aka carbon, and informs us that currently we have only 48 hours of stored gas left to keep us warm. It's a sorry state of affairs and our political leaders have failed in their duty to remain independently informed. It's shocking that despite vast amounts of contradictory evidence that disputes the role of carbon as the main factor for climate change, still our politburocrats have pursued verbatim the United Nations Agenda 21. Of course, the new kid on the block is shale gas and our deftly naive ministers are chirping, what a good idea! Well, before you sell your souls to global oil and gas corporations, allow yourselves to be swooned with steak dinners and Beaujolais, you might want to read up on the term fracking and take a look at Gaslands, just in case you're not sure, I've provided a link below. Our High Priestess of EU Foreign Policy, Baroness Ashton, will step down from her post in 2014. Of course, in true EU style, she doesn't leave without a significant golden handshake, worth around £400,000, along with the ability to continue to claim attendance allowance at £300 per day for at least 18 months after leaving office. Lovely jubbly. This article considers Lady Ashton's political appointment. Our researcher John has posted this excellent report in our legislation section. The fiscal crisis really has got our EU kleptocrats in a spin, and in its efforts to prevent the complete collapse in the Eurozone, their legally scribes have put forward this directive proposal for greater economic and budgetary surveillance. UK border controls have clearly completely lost control. In this article, we discover that a backlog of immigration applications as big as the population of Iceland will take 24 years to clear at the rate the shambolic UK border agency is working. Despite granting an effective amnesty to 96,000 immigrants, the total number of files sitting on immigration officers' desks has fallen by just 3,500. During one three-month period last year, 92,000 migrants and asylum seekers appeared on a backlog of applications waiting to be cleared. The bottom line, at the current processing rate, completion of the backlog will take until 2037. Today in our video library, I was saddened to hear news of the death of Margaret Thatcher. She seemed to have become more increasingly aware of the intent behind Europe and openly stated her regret at signing the Single European Act. In this video from 1990, she accurately identified the intention for a federal European superstate brought about through financial integration via the creation of a European Central Bank, the one we now call the ECB. God bless you, Lady Thatcher. May you rest in peace. 
My name's Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below.